what's up guys? Welcome, Daily Theologians. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. Today, I wanted to discuss Graham Stephan. He's well known as a minimalist, but now he seems like he's kind of a maximalist. He's got more money than he knows what to do with. Uh, so, not a, not a knock on the money side, but um, he's well known for financial advice. And uh, ha my background coming from the, the Dave Ramsey side of the world, it's been encouraging to see some of the things that he said. And I wanted to emphasize uh, his new coffee company uh, called Bankroll Coffee. And the reason I'm bringing this up is not so that you go buy his coffee. In fact, I think you should make your own coffee because uh, that's what we do. My wife makes my coffee. And I, I think it just shows contentment in little things if you can learn to uh, value what you do have and uh, spend less and then it can help you in other areas of your life. So here's his website. So here is the website, Bankroll Coffee. Check it out, drink it in. Here's my favorite part. He's got his recipe for the 20 cent coffee. 16 ounce coffee bag, $9.99. Filters, five cents. Creamer, 25 cents. Total, $10.29. Comes out to 15 cents a cup. Uh, and I think he's adding the filter back in for 20 cent coffee. But he says how to become a millionaire. $2 savings per cup times $3 equals $6 per day. Invest $6 per day, 55 years at 7% return, $1.3 million. Now, the site is fun. It's meant to help you realize that being uh, frugal in small things can add up. His whole thing is investing. I'm not going to show you everything because he does have a bit of a, a coarse sense of humor, some of these things. But uh, here's the 20 cent coffee, Diamond Hands coffee, bankroll coffee mug, and uh, different things that he's got for sale here. And the site, uh, when you first go here, it is a little bit uh, overwhelming. Like, I don't know, it feels like the thing is attacking you. I don't know what's happening here. Kind of like you got stuck in a slot machine is my initial take. So here's what we can learn from this. So what can we learn from bankroll coffee? Is the point of life making and investing as much money as you can? Well, of course not. Um, biblically speaking, the point of life is to glorify God in all that you say or do. But money is a huge stumbling block for so many people because it is a never-ending process where we're in this constant state of consumption and uh, accumulation, and it, it's never enough. So you end up in this never-ending cycle of acquiring and then working and acquiring and working. So what I like about what Graham uh, does is he, he's fun, he's very likable, and he helps you realize the value of, of contentment with things to some level. When it comes to material um, possessions, he's often got some very good common sense advice. I would caution you against just putting all of your hope in the stock market and investing to make millions and millions of dollars. I think it's, uh, it's helpful to save for a rainy day, certainly a good thing to see danger coming and uh, to provide for your family and, and uh, those types of things are good. It's just you don't want those things to become idols in your life. And more and more, I'll post videos on money on this channel because that is my background. I actually really like talking about these topics. I understand the investment world really well, and I understand the personal finance world very well. And I think it's, it's very helpful in, uh, in just day-to-day -day life to teach our children these things and to teach others these things and to be in a place of contentment where we're resting in the finished work of Christ where that is enough. And uh, if you want to check out the coffee, it looks good. He's got a whole story about how, how he priced it. And uh, it could be an encouragement to you to support him, maybe. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Please remember to repent and trust in the gospel if you haven't yet. Come on, what are you doing? That's the whole point of this channel. And uh, if you haven't yet, hammer that like button. Like the 95 Theses and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. Uh, hit the like button thing. Uh, it helps the algorithm, I, I think. I don't want to mislead you, but I think it does. Comments definitely help the algorithm. In fact, if I don't get a couple thumbs downs on a video, I know my video is going nowhere. So uh, for whatever that, that means, whenever there's kind of a battle, uh, those videos do well, which is helpful because I want to reach the people that are giving me the thumbs down. If you're thumbsing down this video, you are the target because likely the gospel has offended you in some way. I'm just saying. Thanks for watching and God bless.